All right, guys, so today we are going to be taking a look and doing an official review on the Falcon Even A1. Now, this is just the A1, not the A1X or Pro. There's a bunch of different options out there that are pretty cool, actually, in and of themselves. But this one is just the A1. And uh, what can I say about this blade? I really do love using it. It is one of my go-tos, as I've talked about in other videos, for survival knives and is usually my wintertime survival knife. And I did a video back in the winter kind of specifically talking about this blade as it relates to its pros and why I think this is one of the ultimate winter survival knives. Now primarily I do think this blade does make a very good winter survival knife because it has a fully rubberized handle fully rubberized handle that is very comfortable to hold in the cold and is not going to you know, suck heat out of your hand. It's going to be pretty temperature neutral overall and give you an insulated grip from it that extremely beefy, like quarter inch thick piece of a laminated VG10. So those are some of the big kind of pros to the A1. Now, other things that I really do like about the A1 are its thickness for things like chopping, as I showcased in that video. This thing is quite the little chopper. I didn't necessarily do any tests today, but rest assured it is quite a chopper and it is definitely thick and heavy and robust for that uh, purpose. It is also though something that uh, makes this blade really, really fantastic. But something else that makes this blade really fantastic for overall um, but something that makes this blade fantastic for just overall use is its convex grind. Now, usually I'm not a huge fan of convex ground blades, but when it comes to a blade that is thick, heavy, and kind of tanky, I think the convex ground blades are really the way to go. And for the primary reason that uh, when it comes down to it, you can end up making a very thick blade, very thin, very slicey, and a really good performer. As you guys can see, this blade uh, carves, feather sticks, notches without any issue whatsoever. Without any issue, without any issue whatsoever. It is super sharp, super fine, and does those tasks very well and really just digs into wood. And actually with, between this knife, my Falcon Even F1, the A1, and my uh, BRK Bravo, one, they are really becoming quite I'm really becoming quite a fan of these kind of tanky, overbuilt, convex ground fixed blades for survival and for general purpose wilderness tasks because that convex grind is such a good performer. So outside of that, uh, what are some other good pros? Like I said, this blade has a really great size. The F1, I often ding because for at least survival, because it is often, in my opinion, just a little bit too small for realistic survival situations. However, the A1 does not suffer from that issue. It is definitely right around the perfect size, having about a six inch blade. In addition to that, two things that I like are the fact that this blade, unlike many survival knives out there is a really solid uh, stainless steel option and that's part of the reason a lot of people don't like these you know expensive knives including the Falcon even people think are overpriced but when you start really looking for serious contenders for stainless steel blades that are really venerable survival knives there's not many out there on the market that are really worth their weight and that's why I like the Falcon even so much because, or the Falcon even A1 so much because it is a little bit more expensive, but it is a serious contender for being a stainless steel option that is tanky, robust, but yet still also very good at doing your smaller, finer tasks like feather sticking and notching. So it really is a venerable choice for those reasons. Aside from that, as I've mentioned, though I don't like it as much in the winter, this handle is really great. In, so I don't like it as much in the summer, but for wintertime use, this handle is pretty darn fantastic and pretty tough to beat overall. So I really do like the handle on this guy. It is very comfortable year round, but it is also very temperature neutral in the cold. Of course, being black and being rubber in direct sunlight, how it is right now, it is a little bit uncomfortable, but the gloves definitely help with that. Overall though, I will say the ergonomics are pretty squared away any way that you slice it. So as far as it goes, if you're really looking for a tough, robust stainless steel option for a survival blade, you'd be really hard pressed to beat the Falcon Even A1. Not to mention, like I said, this is a very good and my go-to 
wintertime survival knife. Now about the only thing that I dislike with the A1, as I've mentioned in other videos, is the sheath options. I think that the sheath options for this blade are very outdated. You either get a top folding leather sheath or this Zytel sheath, which I did modify with a paracord wrap to allow me to add a sheath to it. But unless you do things like that, the stock, like plain out of the box sheath options are pretty mediocre at best. And even still, I was able to add this, but still it only has a belt loop on the back. There's no type of PALS or MOLLE compatible webbing. Uh, you know, there's nothing you can really do to make this, uh, you know, attached to a backpack or LBV or stuff like that. So, you know, that is probably the biggest knock I do give this knife, especially for the price point. It would be nice to see an updated sheath. I know these knives are not brand new, maybe not as old as Cold Steel's SRK, but they are still not uh, very new. And so it would be cool to actually see kind of an updated, almost Secure X style sheath for this blade. Now, of course, you can always go aftermarket and buy a Kydex sheath, but that's kind of uh, defeats the purpose when you buy such an expensive blade. Anyways, guys, that's really all I have to say about the Falcon Even A1. It is a fantastic cold and wet environment survival knife. I really do like mine and still am going to be keeping it around for a long time to come. As always, guys, God bless and I'm out.